Zinaida felt lonely and anxious during the coronavirus lockdowns in Israel. The stress brings back memories of her time as a little girl during the Holocaust. The Nazi came to our village in Belarus in 1941 and rounded up all the Jews. My family were first to live in a barn with the animals and work in our own fields. Everything we harvested was sent to Germany while we were given little or nothing to eat. Those who couldn't work were immediately killed. She said only 15 people out of the 3,000 from her village survived to see the end of the war. Now living alone in Israel during the pandemic, Zinaida can't help but recall her past traumas. Those memories of hunger have never left me. Not being able to see my friends, many of them also Holocaust survivors, and share our experiences has been heartbreaking. Zinaida doesn't have much money to buy groceries, and she hasn't been able to go out due to the threat of catching the virus. So CBN Israel brings her food and checks in on her so she feels less isolated. It's been so nice to have you come and bring me this food. I love that you would take the time to say hello and ask me how I am doing. Thanks to the support of CBN donors, Zinaida and other Holocaust survivors in Israel know they'll have the food and emotional support they need during the pandemic and after. Your visit is something I always look forward to and that helps me get by. That you remember me and care about me means everything. I am so very thankful for you.